Hey, Ragnar. Ragnar, no. Don't eat the BKE jeans. Don't. Do you understand? We're trying to make this. We're trying to make this money, Ragnar. Okay? We don't need you eating the good inventory. Eat your monkey. You already lost an ear, but you just keep on eating them. Good boys. Good boys. What's up, y'all? Sean here. I go by Taylor Exchange on YouTube. And today, I'm going to talk to you guys about running my reselling business and taking care of Ragnar, my new Labradoodle puppy who's 10 weeks old. First thing is, I've been waking up in the middle of the night two to three times to take him out to go to the bathroom or kennel training him. The first few days, he was just whining and screaming. Now, he'll kind of like whimper if I leave him in the other room without... Um, you know, me being in there with him in the crate, but I found it best just to move the crate into the eBay room and kind of have him there and make sure he gets like his blocks of naps that, that he needs. Most importantly, during those blocks, I need to do a couple things to keep my business going. One of those things that's really hard to do whenever he's out of the kennel is take photos of my items. The reason for this is he likes to bite and chew, mainly like sniff, but he'll start like mouthing, um, some of the inventory, especially like the jeans and, and the items on the lower part of the rack. So, Hey guys, I just finished up my 60 photos for the day. I try to get 60 photos done on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on Saturday and Sunday, I do 30 listings each of those days. So sometimes, I mean, maybe I can do more photos on Saturday or Sunday, but typically I just like to work like two you know, like two hours or less on Saturday or Sunday. First thing in the morning, though, is important. Whenever I'm done, with my photos, I like to count out my items for the next day so that I can just come in here, pull the rack up to the photo section, and then start pulling items. So it's pretty easy, and I do my shirts here, and I do my pants here. So I'll do it real quick for you guys. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then this one, I gotta show you guys this one. I got this one recently. It's a Dwight uh, Shroot Christmas sweater. He is probably one of the, the best characters I've seen in a show in quite a long time. And uh, yeah, he's great. So this should sell for pretty good money. It may not sell for till next Christmas though, but um, I'm not really, I mean, I like to move my items fast, but if it's something kind of unique, like I don't mind having it sit in my garage for a couple months. Another set of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shove it in there. Okay. And then another important thing, I take my clear hanger and I put it right on top here so I don't forget and I know. When it comes to pants, since it's winter time, I'm not finding as many pants, but um, I like to I like to look at pants and shoes kind of in the same sense because they're both uh I guess because they're both bulky and they both have like decent return. Shoes are way more, obviously, but um, if I don't have enough pants, I'll I'll clean up some shoes and put those in that uh, in their place. And then I also do shorts, which I push quite a bit of shorts in the summertime, just because um, there's a lot of them around. There's a lot of people that need shorts. So uh, let's see how many jeans we have or pants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then much like the tops hangers, I have a clear uh, hanger here. And I just asked my thrift store for hangers. I didn't even go buy them because, um, you know, I spent so much money there. They were just like, just take, just take it. It doesn't even matter. So now I have um, everything else here. And, you know, maybe if I want, I'll uh, move these tops up here. I have my shorts here, which is a smaller stack. I could probably just move those up here. And then I've got a lot of shoes in my spare bathroom in the tub. Is my wife and I don't use that bathroom, which we'll probably use it to start bathing our dog in the winter. Um, but for now, it's just filled with a bunch of shoes. So I'm going to clean those up probably on the weekend. Sometimes I like um, doing it on the weekend. I don't really know why, but it just seems like a, a weekend almost like a part-time to my full-time business with clothes is the shoes because I, I enjoy selling shoes. All right, Ragnar's whining a bit. We're gonna let him out of his kennel. He's been a good boy. He's given me a chance to work. 
Come on, buddy. Oh, get that stretch in. Get that stretch in. Okay, so we got Ragnar about a week ago, and it has definitely taken a toll on me being a um, guy that works from home. My wife works a nine to five, and I get to spend a lot of time with Ragnar, which is, is fine, but at the same time, he requires a lot of attention whenever he's up and going. So we're trying to kennel train him at night, and we're trying to do it kind of throughout the day so that whenever I go sourcing or need to leave the house, he isn't uh, tearing things up and he can kind of just relax and like take a nap in the kennels. Uh, resellers that have kids likely go through the same thing. Now, I'm a full-time reseller and um, this is the first time having like somebody else in my space. My wife and I don't have kids yet, but we do plan to have some in the future. The way that I've kind of broken my day down is I always ship items first thing in the morning. I like to go to the post office, get it out of the way. Now I usually pre-pack my items and do my labels at night, like the night before. And then in the morning, whatever sells overnight, I kind of just grab those and I, I pack them up and then I get them all ready to go. My wife hangs out with Ragnar in the morning while she's kind of getting ready and we're both like kind of taking turns, making sure he gets to go to the bathroom and all that. I go to the post office and whenever I come back, I let him out of the kennel, I play with them, I try to do a little bit of training because like that brain stimuli for him, it'll actually tire him out too. Then what I think I'm gonna start doing is I'll put him in the kennel and I'm making sure I'm in the bedroom with him while he's in the kennel, just because uh, I tried putting him in the other bedroom and he would whimper a little bit, not like scream and yell, but he would definitely be upset. So he's a little less upset whenever he can see me working. And for that first part of the morning, I'm gonna be doing my photos. Aside from that, one of the things that I did today, which I haven't done all week, was I actually like put on normal clothes. I've been wearing sweatpants, athletic pants, just kind of like lounging around because I've been having to wake up in the middle of the night to take uh, Ragnar out to go to the bathroom and uh, the sleep schedule's off. The I, I haven't really, you know, just put him in the kennel and then go and get dressed because he would whimper and stuff, but he's getting better. So uh, while he was taking a nap, I decided to like kind of like get dressed up and, you know, and film a video for you guys so that uh, if you're out there, uh, dealing with a puppy or just reselling or maybe you just want to listen to somebody else talk about how they resell uh, You can come to the channel and check that out And if you do look at the screen at least you look at somebody who looks uh, Halfway normal like they actually have a professional type job which um, Reselling is is to me. It's more than a side gig because I make uh, much more money than that uh, Than like side income people, but every time I tell people about it They always say oh, that's a cool side hustle side gig type thing and I always think like well I wonder what you're bringing home at the end of the day, and um, it all doesn't really matter, you know. I'll uh, I'll take the compliments I get, and usually people do like uh, hearing about it, like if you're at the bar or like just talking to people. And I definitely tell people about my business. One of the reasons I tell people about my business is I meet a lot of cool people. Ragnar's getting a little restless. It's all right, buddy. One of the reasons I tell people about it is because you never know who you're going to run into. Someone could have a bunch of items at their house. They could have some types of connections that you just didn't know about. And um, the more you talk about something, the better you get at talking about it. Those are some of the things that uh, I kind of like to do whenever I'm out and about. Let's just show you like a few of the things I pick up to sell. Uh, maybe you can find them in your area. So right here we have a uh, Carhartt. This is rugged outdoor wear. It's a medium. This is a corduroy brown long sleeve button down. It may have shrank a little bit. You know, I always do measurements of these items, but then I always wonder why was the item donated, you know? But uh, this is a pretty good item. I haven't come across one of these. I do pick up a lot of Carhartt. If you guys don't know, Carhartt's like a, a workwear brand uh, in Texas here. We have a lot of people that work outdoors and work in the oil rigs and things. And Carhartt's one of those uh, powerful brands uh, similar to Ariat that people like to wear. Let's go see Ragnar. Hey, bud. You okay? You okay there? You okay? Get your monkey. So yeah, whenever Ragnar's not having like a good moment, I try to just talk to him a little bit, but I don't want to give him attention when he whines. I usually wait till he's done so that um, he doesn't think whining can get me to come over to him. So uh, that's my belief behind that. Uh, next, this is a pretty uh, low value item. It's a just an Under Armour. It's burnt orange. This is just an XL heat gear. Short sleeve shirt, so it's just like a little workout shirt. Somebody will probably spend like 15 bucks on this and... Um, you know, I have a pretty low cost of goods, but I want people to be able to buy like multiple of the same items so that 
um, when they come to my store, maybe they can get like their whole workout wardrobe from my store at one time, and, and those sales end up being a lot better. All right, another item here. We have this uh, uh, Columbia PFG. This is a men's large. This is a peach color. It's the button one. Uh, it's a vented fishing shirt. So a lot of these Columbia PFGs do pretty well. Uh, they're going to do a lot better in the spring. Right now, they're not selling as great because it's winter, but uh, that's definitely an item I look out for. When you pick up like the black, uh, any cool c color schemes, they're going to do a little bit better. But I thought the peach one was interesting, and it was a large. I typically pick up men's large, extra large, and even bigger sizes. So, All right, Ragnar needs to go outside, so I'm going to take him outside. I hope you guys enjoyed like a little bit about what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to start trying to like put more content out about how I actually run my business. And... Uh, maybe you guys can get some information about it and uh, I don't know maybe you can like follow along and see how the business grows as my puppy grows so let's just let him out and uh, see how he reacts all right buddy come on come on buddy good boys good boys all right he's trying to eat like the stand so we're just gonna leave you at this right now say bye to everybody say bye buddy all right guys I'll see you later what's up guys I just want to come in here real quick at the end because I reached a little bit of a milestone. I cracked 40,000 for my 90 day total. I have 1,616 sales in the last 90 days, so if you guys do the math. Um, I sell a lot of items for a little bit of money, but I end up making about, you know, $10 per item is, is kind of, I think it's like 11, maybe it's like $11 per item. But yeah, it's enough to pay the bills. It's enough to feed my dog Ragnar, who's been sleeping and I've finally been able to catch up on my photos. Hope you guys can get after it and make some money yourselves. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.